Notice that I've set up all the balls along the long rail, spread them out evenly, is we're going to focus our direction on aiming each half of the balls into the corner pocket directly across. We're going to set the balls up in the same order on the rail, only this time we're going to shoot them into the side pocket. I'm going to take my time to step back, first starting with my flat bridge to the table and then follow through the stroke. Each time, I'm, I may here in this case use my jacked up bridge, using my closed hand bridge, pick up the back of the cue and follow through. This time I may go to choose that fist bridge with the thumb pointed up, take my time, smooth stroking and follow through. Here's an opportunity to just use the flat hand, take the cue level all the way down and stroke all the way through. Now it's important as you shoot these that you don't try to punch at the ball because it's very likely you could skid over the top. Continue to follow the exercise all the way through, standing up, rechalking your cue, take your set position, and back down to the shot with a full follow through. We're going to continue working on our rail shots, only this time we're going to line the balls up on the top rail, including the cue ball. And the first half of the balls will go in the top corner, the second half will go in the top left hand corner. We're going to continue focusing on our flat hand bridge, working with our overlapping two finger bridge. We're going to use our closed bridge, even our raised bridge. We'll vary them while we're continuing to make sure we're developing a solid hit on the ball as though each one would be our cue ball as we pocket it into the corner. Remember as well, you're raising your eyes to look at your target at the contact stroke. First I'm using my flat hand bridge. Again, my eyes look at my pocket. Here you can see a more close up view of how controlled the stroke looks that the tip of the shaft, the ferrule, is just grazing on the cloth. Here you could see just how the shaft is grazing right on the rail cloth and making a full solid stroke into the ball. You see the closed fingered bridge here. I have the back of the cue elevated so I'm automatically going to be grazing right there on the rail cloth and having a solid contact right through and continue shooting from the rail using each of the different rail bridges as you develop a confidence with a good sure contact on the cue ball. Hello, right tea, hello, right Passing on by. Passing on by.